Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to another Shenmue Dojo News Digest video. I hope you're all well. You have to excuse my voice a little bit. I'm still recovering from my cold uh, from the other day. It's better than it was. Um, but enough of that. I'm doing this video today to talk about the Crunchyroll favourite anime vote of 2022 and the results of that. Um, as you know, we were campaigning quite heavily around this to get Shenmue up there in the voting. And I'm really pleased to say that actually we've had a really good result out of this. So as of today, the poll closed overnight in the UK. I think it was midnight Eastern Time United States. Um, Shenmue the Animation has finished third out of 142 other anime series. That is a fantastic result. Third. Guys, that is that is awesome. So well done, everybody, for that. Um, breaking this down a little bit. So the actual results are Attack on Titan finished uh, top with 11% of the vote. It's no surprise there. It's quite a popular anime. Uh, joint second were three anime here. And all of these are new, believe it or not. New franchises. So Dress Up Darling, Boki on the Rock and Chainsaw Man, which Yu Suzuki mentioned himself that he quite liked that anime in his four gamer interview for the end of year uh, New Year resolution message that he put together. So that's interesting. That's come in at number two. And then Shenmue has come in number three with 7% of the vote. Spy Family in fourth with 6%. And interestingly, Demon Slayer and Kaguya at 5% in fifth place. So guys, that is a fantastic result. If you want to do it in list order, because there's no sort of tiebreaker here. And I've put it as third because there's you know, three anime there with, with joint results at 9%. Attack on Titan 1, uh, Dress Up Darling 2, Boki 3, Chainsaw Man 4, Shenmue number 5. So either way, whether you're going to classify it as third because of the no tiebreaker or fifth in list order, that is a fantastic result, guys. So well done for everybody getting out and voting for it. On top of that, um, looking at it, based on these results, you can argue it either way, I guess. Shenmue is the second highest performing new anime franchise, obviously with Dress Up Darling, Boki and Chainsaw Man um, all coming in at number one jointly together. Or if you want to do it in list order, Shenmue would be number four with the other three in their respective positions. Again, an absolutely fantastic result for, for Shenmue the animation. And, and guys, this is the community coming out. And it is down to you guys in the community coming out, pulling together... And giving Shenmue that platform. This is something that Shenmue community have historically been excellent at. And we're showing again just quite how strong a community we are. And that we come together for Shenmue. And we must continue to do this to have more days like this at the end of the day. Because if we don't, as I keep saying to everybody, it is a foregone conclusion that we will not get anything going forward. So guys, well done everybody. Fantastic effort. And we must continue to do this and continue to do more. Any vote, any poll, any opportunity to use the hashtag ShenmueAnime2 outside of the days on the 4th of every month. Get out there, support Shenmue, support the game, support the anime, and let's make that noise. And we are starting to make that noise. So guys, superb work, well done. So then, coming on, what does this mean for Season 2? Well, as we know, and this is going to sort of lead into another point I'm going to make as well in a minute, Season 2 was obviously canned because of the uh, layoffs and cuts, etc., for tax purposes at Warner Brothers Discovery due to the merger. So my view, and I think the view of a lot of the Shenmue community, is that actually this is very good timing, um, because surely this is now going to have to get the anime back in the thoughts. Certainly Crunchyroll, who have run this poll, they're going to take note of this. They've got to take note of this. Um, Adult Swim, who we know wanted to do this in the first place and were saying to the, the powers that be, this is a good anime, really well performing, etc, etc. And we know it is and all the stats are out there to prove it. Um, I'll link all the um, JPEGs, etc. I've got all the stats on it so you can see those later. Um, obviously Sega, I think they'd be quite up for doing it. And then the big key here is Warner Brothers Discovery and whether they would want to revisit this sort of thing. Or alternatively, possibly whether a Netflix or somebody might go, well, if they don't want to do it, we'll come in with an offer and maybe offer something ourselves. I don't know, but surely this is going to have to start niggling away at people and start people having these conversations again around Shemmy the anime and actually going, well, guys, you know, this actually did quite well here and it's getting good results in, in popularity polls, etc. at the moment. Surely we need to capitalise on this and push this forward. Obviously, I don't know, but we'll, we'll just see. But this then feeds into a couple of articles that came out overnight um, around Warner Brothers Discovery and what's happened in 2022 and their plans for 2023. So I'm going to bring up my web browser here to bring up Twitter. And this is from Variety. 
and they've got an article which I'm going to show you in a minute. And basically it links over to say that Discovery is entering a new era in 2023 with the new period set on relaunching and building compared to the restructuring focus and layoffs and content write-offs of 2022. So the anime here and the timing of this poll couldn't be better because if they're now going to start looking at relaunching things and talking about how they're going to push things forward, I mean, the, uh, the full article's here. I'm not going to go into it too much detail, but I'll leave a link for you in the YouTube description. But here they say that they're, they're looking at relaunching and building. And obviously they they want to um, bring out this combined streaming system that's been talked about quite a lot as well. But this also extends out into franchises and content which may have been written off so surely with the results of this poll that may make people at adult swim Warner brothers discovery go well hang on a second have we made a mistake here can we push this forward a bit more can we get shenmue the anime season two back off the ground um and then deadlines sort of talk a little bit about it more in financial terms and saying actually the industry as, an, as a whole overspent so they need to consolidate, pull back, and then they can start assessing where they want to go from here. So again, guys, it's, as I say, there's no guarantees with this or anything of the sort, but the timing is excellent. The timing is really, really good here that Warner Brothers Discovery are now going, well, we're going to start looking at relaunching and looking at our content again and see where, where we can do things, do the right things, do the things that the people want within reason. And Shenmue the Anime's poll, which has come in third overall um, in... And has outperformed really well-established anime like One Piece as a, as a particular example, or Demon Slayer, which had a massive launch on Crunchyroll with, I think, 10 million views on the trailer. And Shenmue's outperformed it. So surely they need to take that into consideration when moving this forward. Obviously, we'll see. It's a long road. We don't know where this is going to go. And what I would also say is on January the 19th, Crunchyroll are doing their anime awards for the year. So we'll be keeping a very, very close eye on that as well to see what categories might be there, how it's all going to work. And guys, that will probably be the next opportunity, as I keep saying, for the community to come together, come out and give Shenmue that push that it really, really needs to then get us through to that second season and hopefully beyond on that regard and while making noise about that fourth game which we also desperately want so guys that's everything from me have yourselves a cracking weekend and i will see you all very soon take care have a good one